How you doing, guys? I'm Sean. Welcome to Rumble. Take take one thousand and twenty. Fucking batteries are probably going to be done this year. Okay, come on. You're talking to yourself now. How you doing, guys? I'm Sean. Welcome to Rumble with my camera. Guys, today's Rumble. Today's video. This is a subscriber's question, well many subscribers question. Um, how do you actually get confidence when you're out and about taking photographs of strangers in the public? Now, it doesn't matter whether it's consented or it's candid. Um, people are asking left, right and centre here. That's probably, a, a, I would say, possibly uh, the most popular question is, is how do you get that confidence to do it? And a lot of people are intimidated because they don't want to be getting in confrontation. That's understandable. So that's what this video is going to be about. Now I'm going to take you out on the street in another video. Um, it's just we're into the winter months now and I genuinely don't think the light is going to go with me. Uh, but if I'll try to get it done this year, 2016, before the, the new year comes, and I'll put that video, I'll put the links up there if you're watching this at a later date. So how do you get the, the confidence to go out and about and what's to prevent you from getting a real punch in the face by some stranger? For taking their photographs well i'm not going to guarantee nothing here but the first thing i'd be saying to you and i have touched on it in other videos is to get your story straight you have to ask yourself and you have to know this why are you and i'm asking you a question why are you taking that photograph why do you want to go out and take street photographs for why are you taking complete and other strangers photographs in candid or consented uh, way what do, what's your vibe why, why are you doing it for and you have to ask yourself that, but more importantly, you have to get the answer. Now, I'm not asking you to lie to yourself or lie to people, but you do have to know why you want to do it. And if you haven't got, you know, the reason why you want to do it, why you want to go out and take photographs in the street, then you don't do it. Because at the end of the day, then you're just taking snapshots. You're just trying to be in with the crowd which in to be a street photographer I'm going to go out and take well that's your story if that's what you feel then that's why you're going out it's a bit shallow if that's the only reason why you're going out to take photographs because in to be a street photographer or you like the like a thought of people say oh, I'm a street photographer Henri Cartier Bresson you know Bruce Gilden hitting some in the face with a fly but if that's why you're doing it then that's your story don't be making up a story till you know, so you can when when the person stops you that they're trying to say, "Do you take my photograph there?" And you go, "Yes, I did." Why did you take my photograph for? And they will ask you, "Did you take my photograph? Why did you take my photograph? I don't want my photograph being taken. Why are you taking my photograph? I'm going to call the police. You took my photograph." And you'll get hit with about 20, 30 different reasons why that person doesn't want you to take a photograph, and they want you to delete that image. And you have to decide at that moment in time, are you going to, if you're, I should have said at the very start, you check your own country to see if it's legal or illegal to take in a public place. If it's legal to take a uh, photograph in a public place, then you have every right to turn around and say to that person, well, sorry, I'm not deleting nothing. But you could get yourself into a little bit of hassle with that person, because if that person is aggressive, be a bit mentally challenged, you might get the camera took off you and smashed and maybe get your face smashed as well or stabbed or even shot it depends on who you're going to what stranger you're going to be taking photographs so don't take this lightly um other people get around that by saying oh i i, I can't in photographs they don't see me i'm like a ballerina i i, I sneak in the crowds and in and out and Dance about like Henri Cartier Press is my hero. I've got posters up in the wall of Henri Cartier Press and I've read all the books about him and I, that's what I am at the size of moment. Nobody sees me. Well, they will see you. It's impossible to go through street photography without getting caught on with people watching you and catching you taking photographs. And if you have not got that story in your mind and telling people the truth and why you're taking a photograph, if you haven't, you don't know why you're doing it, you're just relying on not being caught, you're going to get into hot water. So know why you're taking the photograph. If you happen to be a photography student, then that's your story. Tell them I'm a photography student. It's part of my assignment. I'm taking photographs of street photography. You know, 
People say, what's street photography? Well, you answer that. Tell them what street photography is. Get them excited that you've chosen them to be part of your project. Get them excited that you've chosen them as out of all the people in that street. There was something about them that's so unique that you wanted to capture it for posterity for the future generation to be looking at them as. You're not bullshitting them, like, you know? You hear that noise, that's a heater coming on. So don't bullshit people. Know your story. Tell them your story. Look them in the eye when you tell them. You've got nothing to hide. And I would say, tell you, that's the first port of call. Know your story while you're taking it. And if you don't know why, don't go out in the street until you know why. Because if you haven't, you're standing there bumbling, it's, um, I, I don't know, I'm sorry, I, I told me to delete the photograph. Don't say, delete it. Or take a photograph out, take a film out. Shouldn't have to come to that. Tell them the story. People just want to know. Imagine the situation. You and your partner, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, or your mother, or your child, or whoever, you're just sitting having a conversation about, I don't know, one of you is getting diagnosed with cancer, or you're talking about your father, or your mother, or whatever. And to the side of your eye, you glance over, and there's a guy or girl who just took your photograph. And you go, excuse me, come here, the teacher take my photograph. And that person starts bumbling about, um, no, no, I was actually, uh, yeah, but it was that. Uh, well, why did you take my photograph for? You would want to know. So number one is know why you're taking a photograph. And once you know that, that's going to alleviate so much more hassle out in the street. Number two, carry a business card. Right. You don't have to be in business to have a business card. Just have a business card with your name on it, or a name on it, but it's good to have your own name, email address. If you've got social media, put your social media on it. And if you haven't got a social media uh, presence there with your photography, get one. Open up a Flickr account, or Twitter, or YouTube, or Facebook, or anything like that, and devote it to your photography. Start sharing your photographs, because they're not really yours when you think about it. Will you stop paying all the photographs and going, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna share. We want to share our photographs with people. So when you're out taking photographs, go and uh, get a social media platform, put the photographs on there and share them. But get yourself a business card. And then that way if you're approaching someone or somebody approaches you after you take a photograph, say, Look, I'm a photographer, I'm a street photographer, you've got your story, so you tell them your story. And say, Look, let me give you a wee business card. Um what you could do is contact me there and I'll send you over complimentary photographs just as my wee way to say thank you very much for the exchange of energy oh, are you going to send me a photograph and you say of course I will just contact me there on any of them uh, social media platforms and I'll send you a photograph some contact you some don't but I think it's good to give back because you took something from them people and as I say we business card that would be point number two number three where do you get the confidence from where do you get that you know, to get over that fear of doing it, go tell your local area. And as I say, you know your story, you know why you're doing it, you've got business cards in your pockets in your camera bag, you know the workings of your camera, of course, and you go to local events where people will know you. Start photographing your local streets, your local area, where people recognize you, and they'll wave over at you, and you wave back. And somebody said, are you taking a photograph? Because you've got your story, you'll say to them, even if it's a neighbor, shopkeeper, Walk around your local area where people know you and that gives you more confidence with what you're doing and you're learning your craft, of course. Go to festivals, any event or demonstrations. What's your political ones? Because at the end of the day, political, uh, we've got confidence. A lot of people paranoid that you're working for the man, working for the boss, big brother, looking down on you. So it could be a wee bit hassle. So go to any like family events, you know, like a festivals and everybody's happy and everybody wants to get uh, the photographs taken, parades and things like that. And that'll get you the confidence to interact with people. And the more comfortable you are with interacting and telling people your story, it just flows off your tongue. But don't be bullshitting the people. And I guarantee you that that's once more you start doing that, the more confident you'll be. So you'll obviously you'll know your camera and you'll be learning that. You'll be constantly learning about your camera as you go along. But... Get your story straight, know why you're out taking the photographs, 
tell them why you're doing it. Oh, I, I love social documentary and I'm actually documenting the streets. What do you mean? What are you taking? Say, well, did you ever see the old photographs taken in 1900s, 1910, 1920 of this area before all the buildings were knocked down? And the people say, yeah, and say, well, look, I'm doing the same sort of thing. So it's not just for this moment in time, it's going to be for people in a hundred years time. And I actually seen you walking down the street there and I actually find you quite a, you know, intriguing and I wanted to take your photograph and I think you've just captured this moment in time. But have some sort of story that you can look a person in the eye and tell them. Have a business card, give them the business card, they can see, they can check it on their phone and check and see you're legit. And then of course, um, get yourself more practice and the more practice and the more it becomes second nature. Now there's going to be a word of warning I'm going to give you here and I want you to heed this because basically this is going to save you a lot of hassle. I see so many photographers out there striving just to get the candid photograph and there's nothing wrong with that whatsoever. The problem lies though is when they take the photograph and it's waist level and they start looking up at UFOs and things like that when the people's looking over at them and moving their hands about and they're sitting looking at the camera as if the camera's not working, tapping the back of the camera and they're glancing over watching the people so that the, the people turn their heads away. Then you take a photograph and then they walk on. The big problem with that is, is if somebody turns around and catches you on and believe it or not, you're more obvious than you think. You know what I mean? All this business looking for UFOs uh, when somebody's, you know, watching you taking a photograph or they're still looking at me and you're looking over. It doesn't work. It works sometimes, but not all the time. The problem lies is when you turn around and you take a photograph of someone like that, you start to walk away. Could be a young couple, could be a couple, couple of men, couple of youths. And they turn around and say, Oi, do you take my photograph there? Or do you take our photograph? And you go, no, never did, no, no. And they surround you. And they'll say, turn the camera, let me see the camera. If you've took a photograph of somebody and they insist on you turning that camera LCD around and showing them or taking a film out of the camera and you think you can rely on, it's in a public place and it's legal to take somebody's photographs, therefore I, I'm not going to show it. You're going to get a lacing. You're going to get a kicking. You're going to get punched if that person turns that around and there's a photograph of them in standing. And you've already told them you didn't take a photograph. So you're not doing nothing sleazy. You're not doing nothing illegal if you're in a country that's not illegal. So don't make it sleazy. Don't get yourself into trouble by sneaking about and taking photographs of people candidly. And that's okay to do it. But if somebody stops you, I actually don't know where that cut off there, the battery went. So the point I was making there was that if people approach you and you've took a wee sneak at shot, and you know, you, you take a photograph, you walk on, it could be a young couple, it could be youths, it could be men. And basically you, you could get, oh, come here, you, did you just take my photograph? If you tell them it's no, and you have taken the photograph and you're lying to them, I'm saying to you, you're gonna get into serious trouble. Not because the law, because you could turn around and say, well, the law says it's okay for me to take photographs in public places, so therefore I'm gonna take a photograph and I don't have to show them the back of my camera or whatever, it's my property. Well, I can tell you, the law will go out the window because you could take a photograph of a complete stranger who could be a loose cannon. You know, you really don't know who you're dealing with out in the street. So don't get yourself off in a, you know, a bad footing by lying to them and saying, no, I, I never took your photograph. Because I know the way I would be that if somebody took my photograph, and I'd look over, and as a photographer, and I'd look over, and I'd say, did you take my photograph there? And the person blatantly lies to me whenever I see that they took my photograph. I would be saying, let, let me see the back of the camera. Not that I would want to delete it, but just because a person lied to me, it pissed me off a wee bit. And if the person says, no, I, I don't have to show you that, I would be taking that camera off them. And it's as simple as that. And that photograph will be deleted if it's on it. And that's fact. But the difference is you could be meeting somebody who could be like me, but even more extreme. And they could stick a knife in you, or they could, they could punch you, or they could shoot you, or anything like that. So be very wary in the street. Don't be setting off yourself to get yourself into trouble. 
by land when you're out and about. You're doing nothing wrong. And that's what I would say to you. So get yourself a story. Know why you're doing it. Ask yourself. And if you don't know why you're doing it, then you don't do it. It's as simple as that. Don't go on the street taking street photographs if you haven't a clue why you're doing it. Right? Because then you're just taking snapshots. Just forget about it. Leave that for the rest of the posers out there who are just rock- walking about. Um, oh, I'm, just, I'm a street photographer. Why are you taking it? Oh, I just love Andre Cartier for us on. No, but why are you taking a photograph? Well, I, oh, hello, bye, see you later. And they're gone because I haven't got an answer. Because they're posing. Don't be like that. Know your story. If you don't know the story, find the story. And then that's your story for the rest of your journey ahead to photography. And I guarantee you the more you do it, the more you use it, then the more easier it will be. Get yourself a business card, hand out the business cards, good way of networking, good way of taking photographs of people, exchange them, giving them with a bit of energy, positive back. And uh, you really don't know who you're going to meet. You can meet somebody who could love a photograph and they could end up using your services, taking a photograph. So hand them a business card. Three, practice, never stop practicing. We're always constantly learning, we're always constantly practicing. And the more you do it, so if you're not familiar with street photography, get yourself on to some local events. Certainly document your own local area where you're taking it. doesn't matter whether you're in a village or a city or wherever. Get into that area, take a photographs, and I guarantee you that it'll become second nature because people will be asking you and you'll feel more relaxed. Go to the events, any festivals and things like that. Everybody's up for a party and they'll be wanting to uh, get their photograph taken anyway. Hand out the business card and you've got yourself a good wee portfolio. But don't be lying to people. That's one thing I'd say. And if you're going to take the candid shot, the, the wee under, the waist level shot and things like that, you know, don't lie to people. You're disrespecting them. And you get yourself into trouble. Sure you go, guys. A wee bit long, uh, but I hope that it's answered the question. As I say, I'll be doing a video in the future um, of out and about and a POV of it. And we can uh, give you a wee bit of an idea of what I'm talking about. Guys, listen, send you love from Ireland and thanks again for watching. How you doing guys? I'm Sean, welcome to Rambles. Take, take 1,020. Fucking batteries is probably gonna be done this year. Okay, come on, you're talking to yourself now. Fucking focus. <sighs> Think serious. Nah. We are not, but somebody has asked, fuck sake, start again. Let me either. How you doing guys? <laughs> Here we go. Take fucking one thousand and twenty nine. One hundred and eleven. Why? Because I'm sure you would want to know why somebody takes your photograph. A complete stranger. What are you doing with it? You know why are you going to turn this thing off here? I tell you what, guys, this is about ten thousand. My joking. It's actually about, I'd say 20 takes to get this. We'll talk about one thing after another. But anyway, back to the video. Now you're going to get to the stage, start again. Fuck sake, where was I? Do we get one of those days? Talking to myself, I'm talking to the camera. My old buddy, Nikon, Nikon. Where we are, 33. Here we go. Just stop the tape, let's see. Yeah, keep it going. Don't, rather than stopping the tape, just give it a crack and just, just keep flowing with it. How you doing guys? I'm Sean, welcome to Rambles with my camera. Guys, today's video, today's ramble. I'm gonna be, uh, oh, fucking stop it again.